Hello everybody. I hope you can hear me. <clears throat> I'm currently in my kitchen right now. Um, this video, oh, first of all, thank you so much for watching this video, for tuning in. My name is Kayla and I do lifestyle and travel content and currently I'm in my fitness era. I'm going to be doing a 60 day challenge which we will hear about um, after the first 30 days and then of course at the completion of the challenge so definitely stay tuned to that. Um, I'm very excited for it. It's the first time that I feel like I'm actually going to be capable of doing something of this nature. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. And if you like me and if you like what you're hearing so far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video and also comment down below. If you don't know what to comment, go ahead and comment algorithm or meal prep because that's what we're getting into this video. Now, before I meal prep, I obviously had to go to the grocery store. So I'm going to go ahead and put in some footage for that. All right, y'all, so we are at Walmart because Walmart has the deals, okay? And honestly, I like going to Walmart at night. This is my list. I always go to the grocery store with the list because it keeps me from overspending because we are trying to save money this year. I really want to go on another international trip by the end of this year, and so I'm really trying to get better at my money management as well as like lowering food waste because I realized how much I actually waste food when I'm just buying a whole bunch of stuff that I'm assuming that I need and so that's what we're doing um, I hope you all are doing great thank you for tuning into the video um, I hope you're enjoying it so far even though it just started but I'm just picking up a few things I ended up getting this um, PB2 powder and I didn't even use it I'm gonna go ahead and get some chickpeas which I'm excited about in, um, incorporating that into my diet and then I always go for frozen veggies that's just because it's hard to keep um, fresh veggies fresh <laughs> in my refrigerator it just feels like they go by go bad a lot faster and honestly frozen veggies just give me a lot more flexibility I feel like when it comes to everything that I'm utilizing so normally when I go to the grocery store when I get meat I always end up getting chicken breast a type of fish whether that's shrimp or salmon and a type of beef and that is the type of protein I'll normally um, rotate all right so it is currently the next day I went grocery shopping Saturday night it is currently Sunday evening and I will be honest with y'all the kitchen's a bit of a mess but we're gonna try to clean up along the way what we have on the menu for meal prep is banana oat muffins um, yeah, banana and oat muffins for breakfast for myself. I'm also going to be meal prepping for my boyfriend as well because obviously um, we're going to be doing salmon uh, teriyaki bowls for lunch. And then for dinner, he's going to be having some chicken and I'm going to be having um, some chicken soup that I made a few days ago that I just want to get rid of and I just don't want to throw it away. It feels very wasteful to do that. So earlier this morning i went ahead and marinated um the chicken for his dinner as well as the teriyaki salmon and then i also went ahead and made the mixture for the banana oat muffins if you can go ahead and see that i'll be honest it smells great i'm very excited about this um i did that earlier this morning because i believe in marination i believe in letting myself marinate giving it the best chance it can to be good and then i heard that it's really good to chill any type of like baked good before you put it in the pan and stuff so it just holds up its shape a bit more when you bake it and so i'm gonna go ahead and let kayla from this morning show you how i got everything together I don't know why it took me that long to like turn the camera off that was kind of funny but <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the salmon bites this is the first time I've done this before I usually get the salmon pre-seasoned um, but I ended up just getting this because I think it was a lot cheaper to be honest but I'm just cubing up the salmon um, as I stated before this meal prep is not only for myself but also for my partner and so a lot of my quantities are going to be a lot bigger if you're only making this for yourself and it honestly ended up lasting a while 
Now I'm just going to quickly show you all what I use for my marinade. I use the sugar-free teriyaki sauce, a little bit of hot honey. I also did some low-sodium um, soy sauce and some sesame oil. And then inside of that, I also ended up doing some minced garlic as well. And that was the, oh, and some ginger. <laughs> I also did a salmon rub too, just in case, you know, something to stick to the stick to the salmon and I believe in marination like I stated earlier so my stuff is going to marinate and I'm so so excited again a lot of the stuff that I'm making this is my first time making it and so I can say since I've had you know the meal preps the last week they were a 10 out of 10 and I highly highly recommend this Okay, and one other thing I forgot to mention is that we're also going to be juicing. I saw this juice from Evelyn from the internet. She did a beet juice, and I've never done a beet juice, primarily because it stains. It stains very easily, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. It's also getting close to my time of the month, and apparently beets are actually really good or high in iron, and it's supposed to help out with your menstrual pain. So that's another reason why I'm doing the juice. And I think I'm also going to go ahead and do some yogurt cups for my man's as well because uh, we have some yogurt in there that just hasn't been touched and so I'm gonna probably do a strawberry banana yogurt little situation so yeah so let me go ahead and show you guys what I have so far okay so far like I said marinated stuff I also have some mixed veggies that we're gonna have to um, steam this is gonna be what the salmon is gonna go on to bake this is for the muffins. I'm going to have to do the muffins twice because that recipe is for 12 and I only have a six muffin tin. This is going to be for the rice. And then this is going to be for chickpeas, actually, because the chickpeas are going to go along with the salmon bowl. So that's kind of what we have going on here. Um, everything right now. So I'm going to be using that for the muffins and then using my regular oven for all the other stuff. So while everything is kind of warming up i think i'm gonna go ahead and start on the chickpeas now i have you all on like a makeshift <laughs> tripod right now like you're balancing on three different things on top of my counter but i did actually do my hair today but because we're going to be cooking and chefing it up and cleaning and stuff i'm gonna go ahead and put this scarf on my head um while we do that but essentially i've never roasted chickpeas before so i'm kind of just like winging it a bit but i did hear that it's good and that it's a great source of protein which is my aim to go for a high protein diet during this challenge and so i'm basically going to be roasting the chickpeas in the oven along with the salmon so i think i'm going to just give it a regular old like blend of spices and then just lay it out on the pan so I am going to try to find somewhere to sit y'all so you have a pretty good view of what I'm doing um, and yeah I hope you enjoy the video okay voiceover Kayla is back so we're gonna get into the additions that I'm adding to the salmon bowl I ended up getting chickpeas for added protein as well as a little bit more um, what do they call it nutrient dense plate and so please do not mind the dishes I did end up cleaning my dishes afterwards um, I just didn't have as much time as I normally do to like cook while I clean um, that's something that my mom and my stepdad always taught me and I really do agree with that but this night just was not the night <laughs> but I just went ahead with just a regular season base for the chickpeas put those on a baking sheet and then I went ahead and took the salmon that had been marinating laid it out on a baking sheet as well so that's how everything is looking pop those up into the oven and now it's time to address the muffins I left the muffins in to chill because I heard that I don't know I just heard that it does a lot better for the shape of the muffin and then I sprayed the scooper to just make it a lot easier for the batter and that's how they're looking I'm feeling very at this point of the night cooking I'm feeling very proud of myself let me just say that and then you know I had to go ahead and wash the rice make sure you all are washing your rice I like washing my rice this way because I don't have like a fancy little washer and it just allows me to see the um, water um, going clear and so now I'm just going ahead and doing the chicken fillets that again also 
were marinated <laughs> trying to stuff them into the pan because where time is not necessarily on our side I also ended up cooking my rice and chicken uh, no in beef broth for added protein and just a little added flavor that's something that I learned um, I don't know where I learned that honestly but if you have like chicken bouillon or chicken broth I highly um, recommend adding that to the broth of your rice okay currently this is what we have going on still have two more chicken fillets that need to be cooked these are the garbanzo beans that are being saved for the salmon i went ahead and turned on for the <coughs> or started the steaming of the mixed veggies we have the rice going up in there these needed to be put in for a little bit longer um because they're still a bit jello-y and then in here i have the salmon on broil so it can get some good color now check in with myself let me see if i can put the ring light on me so you can kind of there you go check my lash was feeling a bit weird <clears throat> this is going by a lot faster than i thought i think it's because i prepped before which is like a really good tip um and everything smells so good so that makes me happy um the only other things i think i need to get together is like i said the juice and then the yogurt bowl so i think i'm going to start cutting for the yogurt bowls um and yeah i apologize for the angles i'm not doing this just like <clears throat> for a part of my channel it's just something i thought okay one second babe is calling me hello okay sorry y'all i had to take that phone call um have i given up on lighting because at this point i feel like i have pretty freaking bright but it's gonna have to work so everything is going by pretty fast i feel like the longest task is definitely going to be the juicing aspect but right now i'm just taking the <coughs> salmon bites and i'm putting them back into the bowl they were originally in until i'm ready to assemble all of its parts um the only other thing i need to kind of get together is the snow peas which after i'm done with the chicken i'm gonna go ahead and um like saute the uh the snow peas um and then we'll pretty much be done i'm gonna package everything up um i'm not gonna show myself making the yogurt bowls because i feel like that's pretty self-explanatory but i am gonna like put that together and I think I'm just going to come back when all of that food is together and packaged and then we're going to get into the juicing so I will see y'all hopefully soon hopefully speed is on my side it has been some time later but we're about to juice which is the about the last thing I need to do. So that's what y'all about to see right now. if you've made it this far to the video i truly appreciate you i ended up losing the footage of the final product but you can see the photos here this is how everything ended up turning out um who knows maybe it was because i was sleepy but i really do appreciate you watching this video don't forget to comment meal prep if you like the video and you're interested in more content such as this i appreciate you so much and i look forward to seeing you um for future videos have a great rest of your day